Good morning, math fans. Gauss here, and today I'll be showing you a quick derivation of the class equation. The class equation is the size of G is equal to the size of the center of G plus the sum. From, you see, it's written in different ways. So this is the center of G. And these are the non-central conjugacy classes of G. So G partitions into a disjoint union of conjugacy classes. This is just because, well, every element of G you can can be conjugated. So every element of G is in a conjugacy class and it's clearly disjoint. Then we'll show that the center of G consists of one element conjugacy classes. So G partitions into disjoint union of conjugacy classes means that we can write the following. G is a union from I equals one to K C sub I, where these are the conjugacy classes of G. Now what I'm gonna do is to define it such that C1 to CL are one element conjugacy classes of, of G. So this is fine because the order isn't important um, and I can just re, re I can just reorder and relabel. Um, conjugacy classes will consist of some elements, some might consist of one, two, three, I'm not interested, I'm just saying that for all the ones, if there are any, which have just one element, we put them at the beginning and we'll say the first L of them consists of just one element. And now I'll show you that the center of G consists of one element conjugacy classes. So consider a, a one element conjugacy class. By that I just mean a conjugacy class which just has one element in it. Let's say that element is A. Now if I conjugate A by G, I just get A. That's what it means to be a, a one element conjugacy class. I'm not getting any, anything new when I conjugate it. So this statement just means that the conjugate of A is A uh, for all G and G, which means that G A equals A G for all G and G. In other words, A is a central element of G. So A is in the center of G. What this shows is that for those L conjugacy classes which had one just one element, all those elements lie in the center of G. And so we can write that the union from I to L of CI, so the union of all our single element conjugacy classes, is equal to the center of G. Which means if we recall how we partition G, we can write G as the center of G union CL plus one union CK. And now what we have to do is take mods. The size of G is equal to the size of the center of G plus the sum from i equals l plus 1 to k of ci. And that's how you derive the class equation. In case you're wondering why sometimes you'll see the equation written like this, um, for instance on Wikipedia it's written like this, uh, it's nothing different, it's, it's the same thing. By the orbit stabilizer theorem, the size of the conjugacy class of A is equal to the index of the stabilizer of A, which under the action of conjugation is just the centralizer in G. So they're equivalent. Okay, so let's just see it in action, make sure that it actually works. The example I'll use is S4. And the conjugacy classes in S4 are the identity, two cycles, three cycles, double transpositions, and four cycles. 
how many elements? And what are the size of these classes? Well, there's, there's one identity. There are six two cycles, eight three cycles, six four cycles, and three double transpositions. So we'll write down the class equation. There's only one central element in S4, and that's the identity. Nothing else commutes one. with everything else. That's the sum of the size of the rest. 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6, which is 24. Correct amendment.